everybody. It's February 19th, 2020. I'm Kimberly Jolly from the Fat Quarter Shop Lost Tube. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel to be notified when all of our videos go live and I have lots of good stuff for you today. So this is our cross stitch channel and um, so we're going to talk all about cross stitch today and I'm super excited because we have a new feature this week. Ooh. Lily has put together an awesome uh, poll like a vote you can vote so let's talk about what you're going to be voting for um prim village is a brand new pattern that's going to come out february 24th it is a lori holt pattern that we published for her so this is all lori holt's design it comes with two charts these are the charts right here the large prim village house and the small prim village house so that is the chart it's coming out february 24th the reason it's out not out right now is we are proofing this today and then we gotta print it mm -hmm. and um with it not only do you get two charts you get this awesome charm so the charm is super cute they're all the same color and I, mine has been on my stitchy bag so i leave mine on my bag my lori holt bag actually and then when i want to open it i just open it and i can just pull the charm instead of the zipper so it's a lot easier to open and close so the charm only comes with the pattern that's the only way you can get the charm coming out february 24th now to make this chart either of them you need the prim r floss box so first we'll talk about the r floss box this is the box super cute they have a new way they're packaging they're bigger boxes. They used to be packaged, if you're in the quilting world or know anything about how they used to do stuff in quilting, it used to be a little bit different. So now they come with two small boxes within the big box. So it comes like this. And inside are two different boxes. So these flosses were all hand-picked by Lori and this RF floss box is going to be used on two different charts. Not only the chart back here, but another one that is coming out in about two months. So it's a complete surprise on what it is. Lori is going to start stitching it soon. It's going to be awesome. So if you buy this box, you will have it for um, basically three charts. And if you run out of a floss, you just add it and then just add it back in. So this is our floss pack. So if you're wanting to stitch along with us, the first thing you would do is get the R floss box. Then you would come back for the pattern now the rf floss boxes when we sell out we will restock them um just so you know and they're only available at fat quarter shop because we had these custom made for us so what i thought would be fun is um first i wanted to show you the small rf floss box sorry the small prim village so this is a frame from hobby lobby and um we can put a link to the frame in the links below so this is i actually stitched this in december and lori finished it for me so this is the small one and then the large one is here i'm just gonna i don't want to pick it up i'm gonna let lily zoom in and so this is lori's large vintage frame it comes in white and she painted it with her pitchfork paint and um, she painted it and then you can see it's got some antiquing so i think she took um, some sandpaper and just kind of roughed it up a little bit to make it look vintage and so that is Lori's piece and the fun thing about this is my piece and her piece that she you know these are all Lori's designs um, we stitched them and so Lori stitched the bigger one I stitched the smaller one and we stitched them on the 25 count oatmeal cloth the vintage cloth that's Lori Holtz it's a 25 count Lugana that equates to about a 12 and a half ada and so it's very easy to see the the holes and so we stitched it on the oatmeal colorway and the oatmeal has two sides one side well, all cloth has two sides but this one has um one side is, is um oatmeal and the other side is oatmeal with a mottled touch so you can see the modeling in the fabric and so i thought it would be really fun we're going to be having a sew along from March 4th to June 10th. And so information is coming soon on that sew along. And I thought it would be really cool when I sewed along to stitch on a different fabric. And I wanted to get your guys advice on what fabric you think I should stitch on. So Lily put together a poll. 
if on the top right you see a little I, you can click on that info button and you can vote. And so again, this is oatmeal. I'm not gonna stitch on oatmeal because Lori already did. This is Lori's prim cloth. So that is option. That's one of the options is this color. So it's a little bit lighter. And then the other option is overcast, which is gray. And so I think all three of these colors are actually quite beautiful, but I thought it would be really fun to take a vote. We're gonna end the voting around noon on Friday. So whatever comes in at that time, that's what we're gonna kind of settle on as what I'm gonna stitch on. And so again, prim is the brown, gray is the overcast. I am going to stitch all of the threads exactly as shown from the R Floss box. And in the pattern, we are going to list the DMC colors if you would like to use DMC, but we will only be selling the RF Floss thread. We're not gonna sell a set of DMC. So that is super exciting, and um, I'm excited to see which one wins. And uh, so if you guys wanna vote, uh, we actually have a poll set up on our YouTube. Um, so if you guys wanna comment below, that's cool, but if you want your vote to count, you actually have to vote in the poll. And I'm gonna show you guys real quick on my phone what that poll looks like. So, okay. Almost. Okay. So there's a little eye. I don't know focus, guys. Sorry. There's a little eye right up there. You got it? Anyways, there'll be a little eye on your screen right up here. If you guys click that eye, you'll be able to select an option. It's like a little cursive eye. And so you can vote there. So that's where we wanna look at the voting. I'm super excited about this brand new pattern. Um, and so I do wanna check in in about 10 minutes and see which one is winning just because I'm super excited to know um, about that. So, and we have something else to vote on next week too. So that's super exciting. All right. Okay, so Bloomtopia just wanted to give an update. This is our Make-A-Wish free pattern where we donate money to Make-A-Wish and raise money for Make-A-Wish. So um, we have released section two. Section three is coming next week and we have raised $36,519, which is so exciting. And so that really means we have raised 56,000 because Kevin and I are gonna go donate 10,000. Mark Dunn of Moda Fabrics is gonna donate 10,000. So um, super cute. We have got a lot of people that have stitched along and that's super exciting. I did wanna show you that our bags that have been sold out, the Bloomtopia bags are back in stock. They came back in stock last Friday and we have already sold about 20% um, of what we bought. So, um, just want to let you know the bags are back in stock. We have the DMC packs and the Aura Floss packs. So this is how we package our thread. Super cute. And I had stitched mine on 25 count pewter Lugana. So there's that. And I wanted to show you Deborah from customer service. She put together this cute it's so cute. It's a pin cushion. And so we're going to oops, we're going to zoom in and look at it. So she took section 2 which is the little Yeah, I'll show you on mine. So see the section right? Yeah. Right there. So she put it on she used DMC, she changed her color, she stitched on platinum 32 count Lugana, and it's, I cannot believe she did this. Okay, so she did a pillow back, and inside she made a pillow to go inside. I don't know how she got it in there, it's so, this is like, it's so stuffed in there. And the pillow is stuffed with walnuts, um, walnut shells, and she put lavender in there, so it smells really good. And the reason people use walnut shells um, is when you put your pin in, it's supposed to keep your pin sharp. So if you were gonna really use this as a real pin cushion, it makes it more utilitarian. So super cute, big shout out to Deborah for making that. Um, 
and we're gonna do some pop-ups of our different, um, everyone stitching along. Now, I do wanna give a caveat. We had enough to do shout outs for like over 100 people. So this week we just picked our bloggers and our people who are sewing along and then 12 of you guys because it was just, I just think the whole show could be a whole thing of everybody's. And so I just didn't know that I could read that many names. And so we're gonna um, hold them for next week. So let's start um, with our pop-up. So first we've got Priscilla Blaine. Her channel is Stitching with the Housewives. That's her cute little dog, Piper. And she has gotten all the way through block section four, but I just wanted to show you today through section two. Super cute. She's stitching on Buffalo check. It's the beige color, and I think it's a linen. And then we've got her daughter, Chelsea. She is stitching on uh, Lugana Black. Not Lugana, sorry, Monaco Black. And just so you guys know, the Monaco Black is no longer made, so she got that from her stash. And so she's also caught up, and her channel is also Stitching with the Housewives. And then we've got Java Girl Stitches, which is Christy Potter, and she, I think she's stitching on the pewter. Um, super, super cute, and she's changed up her colors a little bit. And then, and her channel is Java Girl Stitches. Then we have Cheryl McKinney. She is Trankel Stitches, and um, I love her channel. I love her accent, um, and I love her colors. Super cute. And then we've got Stitching in the Barn. That is Valerie Blacksall and her channel, her YouTube uh, floss tube is Stitching in the Barn. And um, she's got a great barn. Super cute. I love her colors because she's using our colors. And then we've got Sarah Hughes from Stitching Mommy. That's also the name of her YouTube channel. And um, she has changed her colors and I really like what she's doing also. We've got Jan Hicks Creates. She lives in Hawaii. She is moving to San Antonio. So I'm super excited Ooh. about that because I might get to meet her. And um, she has a great channel that does um, more complicated things. Super cool. And I love her little um, needle minder. And then we've got Denise from Dot Dot Goose Designs. She's got her little kitty, Gracie, um, one of her bags. And she's stitching with our super... Um, with our colors, so super cute. And now we've got shout outs from our customers. This is Candace K31, super cute, love it. We've got Sip and Stitch. Um, I love hers and I love her fabric and she's using some little plastic DMC um, bobbins and then she put it on like a little ring and it looks like she used a permanent marker to put her colors in the top right. And then Dana Quilts, super cute. I love her needle minder. Those are now sold out. I think those are sold out now. Super cute. And then Little Farm Stitches. I think she's got um, a gray Ada. Super cute. And then the Red Thimble. She's using Aura Floss. And I love, okay, so those little numbers in the top right are alpha bitties. Those are used for quilting, but now she's using them from cross stitch. So that's super cute. And then we've got Wave Sprite, and she's using kind of a little tan, and she's got some purple. And we've got Butterfly Stitches 83, super cute. She's also got purple. And Amy Clarissa Mills, one hour, 45 minutes. She's got parts one and parts two done. And guys, when I tell you how much time it takes me to do a section, don't feel bad if it takes you longer. That's totally okay. Um, I felt really bad because I talked about one of the sections taking 45 minutes and somebody was like, oh my gosh, it took me three hours. And that's okay. As long as you get it done, you're good. And she's using 32 count vintage Stormy Night Lugana. And, oh, she's using the floss flowers. Um, I love those floss flowers. That's what I use to hold my um, thread. And sh this is Jenna Gorsuch, super cute. And Diane Morris. Morrissey and she's got a jelly roll on there and crochet so she's got quilting cross stitch and quilt crochet and share the stitching cute oh simple sewer oh his name is Gus he's cute I just want to look at dogs all day 
And there we go. So that is our Bloomtopia. Super excited to see so many people making it and making it their own and donating to Make-A-Wish. We totally love it. So let me know if you have any questions before I go on to all the things. All right, let's see. Candy Kerr had said, please let Deborah know I will be copying her idea. Yeah, I would love to know how she got the that pillow that she made in there because it is tight. Mm -hmm. I'll be sitting mine to her. All right. Uh, Anne Marie Makowski at the beginning reminded everyone to uh, hit the thumbs up button if you like what you're seeing at any point in the live stream. Uh, and you can give us a thumbs up in the comments and then also that little like thumb up uh, right below our YouTube video. Uh, Julie Washburn was asking, what size frame does the small house fit in for a uh, prim? Four by six. All right. Uh, Karen Amrain says, what charts would be good to use with your new silk floss? Any ideas? Oh, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. All right. Okay. House of Stitch and Stash says, love your Manny color, Kimberly. Thanks. It's Chihuahua. It's OPI Chihuahua. Something, something Chihuahua. <laughs> Um, oh, and then just to clarify um, about the shout outs, we are using a mixture of both uh, bloggers and customers. Um, and we are trying to show everyone as much as we can. We'll make sure we have a good mixture of uh, customers so that everyone can get shouted out at some yeah, point. Yeah, and there's like, that's kind of what I was talking about earlier is now we're getting complaints that people aren't getting shown. But if I showed that, I wouldn't have time to show anything else. So we had to limit it. Like we had, we started with 60 images and I was like, sorry, we can't. There's no way I can show all 60. We could do that if I just don't talk and we just like flip through them. Yeah, it would just take up uh, uh, the whole live stream. Um, but yes, we will do our best to get everyone in at some point in the coming weeks. Yep, so we are working on Mania. So one of the things with Mania is um, I had started with 32. And so when I started with 32, I have now finished 14 of my Manias. 10 of them I decided to just not finish with. So I just put all the thread back in my stash and the fabric back in my stash and the charts back in my stash. So I didn't throw anything away. Um, or, and I did give some of them away to customers last year. So Mania is a event that is in May that was started by a Facebook group um, where you start one project each May, each day in May. So I started 32. I now have 14 finished and so one of my goals right now is I'm trying to finish up all of my um, finish up my mania so I've only got eight left so that's super exciting so I might be able to get that done because my goal last year was if I didn't finish a mania then it would fit a spot this year so anything I don't finish now will be part of this year's mania so this one I got done no I started this week so this is August so I had the house partly done and I had the words done. So I finished the house, the windows, the door, the bottom, the trees, and I'm hoping to have this one done within the next two weeks. It is a cottage of the month and it's by Country Cottage Needleworks. And so I have all of them finished except August and September. So um, super cute. And this is kind of how I keep my fabric. This is my Ada and I just kind of fold it over so it just kind of stays out of my way when I'm stitching. And this is a new needle minder by Gingerbur. Super cute. So I just thought I would put it on there um, and use it while I'm stitching. It's got a good place for my needle to not fall off. Um, and one thing I was going to say about this, I worked on it because we went to SeaWorld. Oh. And so when we went to SeaWorld, I worked on it on the way there and on the way back. And I struggled with the light blue. For some reason, um, my stitches were not lying flat. So I did unstitch a lot and restitch the house. Um, it just wasn't, um, I don't know why, but this light blue was really hard to work with. So that is my whip for the week. Now for our finishes. Cheryl finished Frozen Hot Chocolate by Snow Village. So this is the I think fifth section in Snow Village. And so this is my next section. And so she started and finished hers. She's in the club that is now closed, but she's using the linen and she's using the called for colors. So this is her chart, super cute. I haven't started mine yet, but I'm gonna start soon. So that is one of our finishes. Next, 
this was one of my mania starts and I went ahead and finished it and I mailed it to Priscilla so this is a picture of it finished so that is um, I finished it so now Priscilla has it and she's gonna finish it finish it for me so I got that done so that's one of my mania finishes and that one was a lot of fun. I used the DMC, I used the called for DMC, and you can see on the blue letters, like how there's a light blue at the top and a dark blue at the bottom. So that is by just using a lighter and a darker DMC to get that variegation. And um, so when Priscilla and Chelsea stitched this last year, they just used like a classic color works that was, obviously it has variegation in it, so they could just use one blue instead of having to use two different colors. But I did use the called for colors. And my next finish, this is Hip Hop Chalkful, Priscilla Blaine and Hands on Design. This is her newest chalk design. There are two left. And I finished, started and finished. It took me 16 hours. So um, you can see that there are Smyrna stitches can you zoom in down here? Thanks. So there are Smyrna stitches within the flower that I did. I did the whiskers and the face, and then there's Smyrna stitches in the cheeks. Now there were some little hairs that kind of were back stitches that went on the bunnies, and I decided to just not do those. And one thing that I did do that was different was each of the collars was different, and I changed the orange collar over here to blue because I thought, I don't know. I just wanted it to be a little bit different. So I've got that all done. There's Piggy's. This is Piggy Needle Minder. That's my little dog, Piggy. <laughs> so I'm super excited. Oh, and then the other thing that I did do down here is I use double strands and I use the loop method when I work with Classic Color Works now so that I don't get as much variegation because I really just don't like the variegation. Um, and so it's funny because Cheryl said, well, why just use Classic Color Works if you're not going to use the variegation? And I do get a variegation. It's just more of a lighter variegation. So I found that that works best for me. And i um, super excited to get this done. And I'm going to mail this to Priscilla today. She's going to get so tired of me soon because I'm just <laughs> like, I'm on a roll finishing things because I really should have stuck with Mania like more consistently through the summer and I didn't. And so now I'm like, well, I'm on a mission. I'm going to finish these. So this is mine. I'm going to move mine over and I'm going to put Cheryl's next to it and you're going to be able to see the difference. Now, Lily, can you zoom in? Mm -hmm. So the difference, can you zoom in more? Yeah. So the difference is on Cheryl's, she used 16 count Ada, chalkboard black. Witchell. Now she used 16 count and I used 14 count. So you can see the difference. And she does her classic color works where she keeps the threads together. So when you stitch, you do see the variegation. And she, she did hers where it's only one strand in the jar instead of two. And so you can see her words pop out a little bit more and you can see more variegation. So super cute. So I'm excited. And I want to just say that she was not even started on Monday and it is now Wednesday and she's done. So she is so fast. Denise and I are trying to figure out like how in the world she stitches so fast because she could do circles around both of us. So there is that. So now to continue with hip hop, this is Priscilla's. Super cute. So she put a little wood. I think it's wood. So cute. And she used a black and white fabric behind it. And she's using this tray for all of her chalk folds. So this comes off. So this she and then the bow comes off. So she has it where these will come off. And all of the information on how she finishes all of her pieces can be found on her blog, which is priscillas2000.blogspot.com. So this is like, we should just title this whole video hip hop. <laughs> and then this is her small that comes with the pattern. And she has all of hers that also finish on this piece. 
and super cute. And you can still find this tray in Hobby Lobby. Super cute. And then let me know if y'all have any questions before we go on to all of the next things. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Stephanie Payne was asking, how long did it take you to stitch the small prim? I can tell you. Because I have my little handy handy cross stitch journal that has everything in it. And a dandy notebook. Because I can't remember what I did. So it is actually really helpful. So it took me 5.7 hours. Because I'm not OCD or anything like I wouldn't. Yeah. And I have no idea how long it took Lori, but it took her a long time. I know that. And we're going to be doing a stitch along with it. So um, I'll actually be stitching and um, trying to give a little bit of tips um, if you haven't worked with over two that kind of thing. I'm going to do a little bit more in-depth stitching because Lily's saying that the feedback is people, y'all really like that. So we're going to do a little bit more of that, which will be great. Okay. And, ooh, hang on. Okay. Uh, Rita Strong was asking, are there tutorials, tutorial videos for the Bloomtopia quilt? No. Yes. Sorry. Quilt. You said quilt. Sorry, yes, yeah. there, for are. The quilt, there are. Yes. And Sherry and Chelsea, who designed the fabric, came and did the tutorial. So block one and block two are out and they give you tips all the way through. If you have any questions on anything, you can just comment and we'll answer. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and then Sarah Pete Daniel says, is there a calculator for determining the size of a project? Uh, if it calls for 36 over two and I choose 28, is it just eight stitches larger if I use over two? So what you do is you go to your pattern and on your pattern, most patterns will tell you the stitch count. So like, for example, this says, 38 by 64. So this is 38 stitches by 64 long. So if you want to do it on 10 count, you would take 38 divided by 10, that's 3.8. 6.4 divided by 10, that's 6.4. So it'd be 3.8 times 6.4. If you took 38 divided by 14, which is 14 count, that would come out to two and three quarters. And if you take 63 divided by 14, that's four and a half. So um, if you do, tw like if you have a 36 count, you would take 18, because that's the equivalent of Ada, take 38 divided by 18, and then I'll tell you what that is. 2.1 with 2.1. 2.1, so basically you take your stitch count divided by the number of Ada, so if it's linen, you have to convert that to Ada, and that's gonna tell you your finished size. So when Lori made this, she made these so they fit frames so that we don't have to spend a ton of money on finishing. So this is a four by six frame. Now the opening is only three and a half by five, but you're gonna notice that in frames, when you buy frames, they're not, the opening is not always gonna equal that. So that's perfect. And then this one she made specifically to fit her large vintage square frame that we carry at Fat Quarter Shop. And then of course she painted it um, and distressed it to use her paint because she likes to make everything um, very custom and usable and show you how to use all of her products. Um, you know, sometimes when you think about uh, products, there's so many products on the market, the best thing about Lori is she shows you how to actually use them um, so that you know what to do because like, I'm not a painter. So like, I would never think, oh, I can just paint it instead of going and buying something else, you know. Uh, about hip hop, House of Stitch and Stash was wondering, what's the fabric you stitch yours on? I stitched mine on 14 count with shell chalkboard black. All right. R. White was asking, how do you stitch ergonomically? I have to give myself a rest for a day after stitching for a couple hours. Maybe I'm an angry stitcher. And then they put a little emoji that's like... Oh, that's funny. Um, sometimes my hands hurt, but not very often. Mostly my body hurts. Yeah, um, yeah I don't... I don't really have an issue yet, and I do stitch quite a bit. Um, I do find when I quilt, I do get more tired. So last night I made a really, I made two quilt blocks, and I did notice that I was, I was, my hand was hurting, and it was because I was ironing so much, and I was going really fast, and that heavy iron was really getting to me. So I think maybe I'm just used to, like I can really do all that quilting, and the quilting actually is more, I think, harder on your hands because of the weight and the, 
you know, pushing all your stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm just used to it. Yeah. Do you have any tips if they are getting tired? One thing that you can do is you can do hand exercises. So what you could mm -hmm. do is um, with your hand, what I will do is just really um, take your fist, make a hard fist and then open your hands and then just open like as far as you can and then do that like 20 times and it really stretches out your hand. The key to doing it is um, doing really hard and then really, um, really hard because it just like flexes your muscles. So that's what I do in quilting because um, last night I was like, oh my goodness. So um, yeah, because I, in between doing the quilt block, I had to pick up my daughter because I'm a taxi. I'm just gonna put taxi on my car and then come back. So my, my hands were hurting. So I kind of did this in the car like 20 times. And then when I came back, I was like ready to go. Mm -hmm. So that is one thing that I do do. All right. Uh, and then funny comment from the pokey little pineapple. Great username, by the way. Uh, they said the angry stitcher. That would be a funny handle. Yes. Like, I'm the angry stitcher. I'm mad. <laughs> okay. Uh, That'd be one of my kids. He could be the angry stitcher. He's <laughs> pissed off all the time. <laughs> um, Call him the old man. Aww. He looks like an old man. When he was born, he looked like an old man. He still looks like an old man. He lives like an old man. He doesn't like to. So, like, you know how, like, old people don't, like, if you're, like, he's like my dad. He's named after my dad, first of all. He didn't like to go anywhere. He didn't want to socialize. If we go to dinner, you could be going to, like, the best restaurant in the whole world. He'd be like, I hate it. I don't want to go. He's, but he's so funny because it's like his act. Like, he's really not angry. It's a whole act that he has now. It's so funny. It's so funny. We're just, like, we could make a whole video of him just. Cause he's so pissed off, but he's not, he's like really happy inside. It's like a whole joke. <laughs> and we're just like, come on, can you just like, we try to make him laugh and then he can't stop. All right. Okay. So I do want to know Lily who's winning right now. Oh, hang on. Let me see if I can check. I got to know prim or overcast. All right. Prim Give me overcast. a minute to check okay. while I'm checking. Sorry. Uh, Gabriel Fuentes among other people are staring oh. to wonder if you have uh, your plans ready for mania. Oh my gosh. Yes. We are going to talk about that soon. We have got the best idea. You guys cannot wait. We have something. I cannot even tell you the plans we have for Mania. So we have a pattern planned. It's, yes, we have. I have got plans. Um, I'm going to kind of release those in April, but we're going to have lots of things, and it's going to be amazing. Yes, and it's going to be very, um, yes, I already have my spreadsheet going, um, and it is in, it's all my little secrets. So I have my books. So this is like my, all oh my trash is going everywhere. So this is my original book. This is my second book. This is how much cross stitch I do. And then inside this book is all the secrets to mania right here. So exciting. All right. It looks like Overcast is winning right now. Oh, Lord. Ooh, ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there ooh, ooh. we go. Overcast. All right, but yeah, you guys have till Friday. Uh, if you guys are watching this after the live stream's already gone up, you can also vote. Yes. Okay, so we have some more finishes. So last week, Priscilla and Chelsea released a PDF pattern, and you can find that at fatquartershop.com. It's called Hello Spring, and this is her finish. So on the front, she got these at Michael's, I think. Mm -hmm. So there's this, and this is the back. It says Chocolate Rabbit, and there's three of these. So she's recommending, now I saw this on her channel, so if you want to know more about it, go watch Saturday's video. Stitching with the Housewives, buy all three. So I think there's going to be three patterns. So this is pattern one. Pattern two is called Crunch. We're going to we're gonna show it. We'll show it in the What's New section, and then she'll send us to, to borrow it. Um, I don't think a new one is coming out this week because Chelsea is in... Disney. At Disney. Oh, so jealous. I know. Not me. <laughs> I don't want to. Kevin sent me, we're going to LA for for um, spring break and he sent me like the things to do and I was Woo! like Disneyland. I don't do, we're not going to Disney. But oh. I don't want to do any of the things on the list. We've already been to Disney a million times. I'm like, I don't need to go back to Disney. I, I know what I want to do and what I want to do is not on that list. So I'm just going to go. It's like, okay, so when I got in the car to go to Six Flags, I was not in a bad mood at all. I was just not awake because it was early in the morning. And Will was like, I don't think mommy wants to go to Six Flags. She doesn't like happy. That's my angry child that talks in the angry voice. I don't think she wants to go. She looks mad. I was like, actually, I'm just not awake. But if you want me to be mad, I can be mad. Then I got on that first roller coaster and I was like, you know what? 
that's a reminder why I don't like these places. I'm not getting on any more the rest of the day. I didn't because I was like, I don't want to be sick. So anyway, this is, sorry, I'm trying to sell Hello Spring. <laughs> Hello Spring. That is, that is, um, okay, finished on, oh yeah, that's not that. Sorry. Good. Next finish, Quilty Love. This is... Ooh. Lori Holt's design. I just made a smaller version of it. I made this version and I made this version. And um, we did a little video on mm -hmm. how to finish it. And Lily released it on Monday. Mm -hmm. And I am just gonna say a big thank you to everybody because you guys gave me the nicest comments and you made my whole week because I was like, people are not gonna watch this video. It's gonna be so stupid. It's so easy. They're gonna think, why is she even putting this video out? So you've given me confidence to do more videos because I thought that y'all were gonna not like my video. And so I'm super excited. So I did a little video on how to put it together on the front and the back. And you can see, I never even put in any hooks or anything and it just stays so now I got to put it in my house somewhere Ooh, this Priscilla sent us this so Priscilla again from stitching with the housewives this is a 2020 release by Lizzie Kate it is a completely free pattern that you can find on the Lizzie Kate blog and Ashley put a link below where you can find it and it is so pretty so she got this you cannot find this anywhere because we tried to find it. It is um, from the Michaels section. She got it for like $4 on the clearance section. And this is so beautiful because look at these pretty rose roses. So that is where she got that. It's going to be hard to find. I'm just going to put this here because it's so pretty. Okay. Starting to see some people in the comments saying that they want Prim to win. Uh, so if you guys want Prim to win, make go sure. Vote. Yes, go to YouTube. Make sure um, you click that little I, I on the top right corner, and then you can vote. And I can show you on my phone in a little bit. How about that? Because my phone is somewhere in here. Oh, it's over there. I can show you on my phone because I know how to do it. I figured it out. But I'll show you in a little bit. So another finish, guys. I have been stitching like crazy. Um, so I finished Happy East. No, Easter Reef. This is Tiny Modernist. This was one of my mania starts. And when I sift this one, I just stitched on Wichel White Ada. Very basic. And Priscilla finished it for me yesterday. Oh. All right. We're getting to that. No. Is it frame? Is it frame finishes? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. There it is. Look at the bunny. I'm so excited. I told her, I was like, I'm going to cry. She's like, oh, do you hate it? I was like, no, I love it. So it's like a metal bunny. And she got it at Hobby Lobby. She said the number is 543. Four five four three. So if you want to make a bunny, this bunny, that's the item number. And all of the information on everything she did is going to be on her blog today. So make sure you check out her blog. And I stitched this with, like I said, white 14 count Ada with shell. And I used the called for DMC colors. Now this one took me a little bit longer because I'm not, it's, it's a lot of start and stop. So that would be my only thing is I love the end result, but you can see you make like 10 stitches and then you stop and I don't like to carry over. So it was like a lot of start and stop, but I do love the end result and I know exactly where this is going in my house and I cannot wait for Mr. Bunny to come to my little house because my little kids are gonna love it, especially my little angry <laughs> man. He's gonna be like, that's the little bunny. He's really funny. I'm sorry, but my kid is. I'm excited for him to watch this when he's like older and be like, man. Oh, he is. Well, we tell him in person. Like, I would never say anything about my kids, like about them behind their back. Like everything we're talking about, we talk about in real life. Like my, we're like, what is, what has happened to you that has scarred you so bad that you're angry? But I think, but he's, I mean, he's the sweetest kid. Like he's so cute. Like all the little girls at school call him Willie. So they'll be like, when we see them at the store, or I mean, you know, you see friends like everywhere, like the store, the place they do a basketball tournaments, all the th it, The boys always say, hi, Will, but the little girls, hi, Willie. And then Peyton Ooh. calls Will Bubby. So he's like, hi, Bubby. It's because Willie, because cause Peyton really likes to make Will mad. Because it's the whole thing. It's the whole thing. So he's Bubby, he's Will, he's Angry Man. Anyway. I love that kid. He's amazing. 
Uh, and just real quick, uh, I saw a lot of people in the comments saying that uh, for the person who was asking about their hand getting tired, uh, that they recommend a hand wrist brace. Uh, that it's worked for a lot of people you can buy it at any pharmacy yes so you can buy those at like cvs and you can get them they're very affordable there's bigger and they're smaller um the only reason i know is because i had carpal tunnel at one time like before i had kids um the only thing is you might not be able to like twist your hand so i would just if you were going to do something like that First of all, it's very affordable to do it at CVS or Walgreens or Walmart, anything like that. But I would definitely put that on in the store and turn your wrist to make sure you're going to be able to use it. Yeah, good. See, I'm a doctor today, too. <laughs> I'm a oh, therapist yeah. and a doctor. And then uh, I saw that Faye Dixon said she voted for Overcast, but now she's a little concerned about the lighter blue showing on it um so if you guys do vote on like one color and then you're like thinking about it like a few hours later and you're like wait no i think i want to change my vote you can totally come back and change your vote just make sure you're on the same account uh go back to that little eye on the pole and you just change it and then gonna, it goes towards the other one i'm gonna put the light blue on there since you said that oh let's find out so these are the two light blues or these are the two blues so they look pretty good yeah, they actually felt good. I'm putting my trust in you guys to vote the right way. <laughs> if it looks ugly, I can say y'all did it. Oh, oh, no. That's so funny to I me. I feel like it's going to look great either way. I hope. Okay. So, one thing that we are going to be adding, and we, we, okay, so we are Fat Quarter Shop, and we have a flash sale, and we have had that for years and years and years, and, um, what we're going to do is every Wednesday, we're going to have a flash sale for a cross stitch item that's really deeply discounted. So today, Denise and I picked vintage cloth 10 count oatmeal. This is one of Lori Holt's vintage cloths. And this is today only 50% off limit five because we were afraid that somebody would come in and buy everything. So you can buy this today. Vintage cloth is great for beginners. It looks super great on pillows, pin cushions. Um, I've done a ton of stuff that is framed. This would look super great with this if you wanted it to be bigger. So it looks great with lots of things. So just kind of, and so each week on Wednesdays, I'm gonna be showing you the flash sale item for that day. Now we will every day have a flash sale for quilting. We're gonna start incorporating cross stitch in. So you might see cross stitch on our flash sale, like say on a Sunday, but you will always see it on a Wednesday. So that's super exciting. And we have a brand new product that I am so excited about just in time for mania. So this is one of our big mania things. These are called gingham on the go bags. So the, it comes in a set. So it comes in a really nice package. So it has got a nice zipper, cute. And then watch this. It sits up. What'd you say? I said pachow, like it's gonna go like pachow. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So they sit up. Sound effect. So when you're stitching, oh. you can put everything in there and just grab it. Because that's one of the things that like, if it's sitting there, guess what happens? It falls over. So these, we made them to sit up so there's gray that's the smaller one and so all my mania is going to go in these bags and they're really nice quality and you can cross stitch on them so next week we're going to show you something cross stitched on it so there's the gray i'm going to kind of we'll move this i'm going to set the gray up and so all you do is you um see how the bottom has a like a, yeah, see it has like a, it's sewn that way so it would sit up. So we actually came up with this whole thing all by ourselves. Um, this is custom joint product, joint venture between all of us here and I cannot be more excited about my gingham on the go bags. Like I love these. When they came in, I was like about to cry. So there is the pink. So when you're stitching, it's like your little buddy. And then this one, Oh my gosh, Piggy could fit in it. It's so big. Piggy could fit in it. Put a Piggy in you it. You just show up next week with Piggy in there. I might. It is Look breathable. It Check it out. And so when you travel, they fold really nice. And you could put, if you wanted to, these are also great, not just for stitching. You could use them for makeup. 
You could use them for travel. You could use them for underwear or bras or stuff like that. Ooh. So cute and they're perfect mm -hmm. colors. So um, you're gonna see a majority of my mania in these bags. And um, we're gonna do something a little bit different with our mania this year. Um, it's gonna be super exciting. So these are called Gingham on the Go, brand new. And I'm super, 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 super excited about them. Mm -hmm. And the next thing I'm excited about is, so recently when we started Parade of Homes, we, um, one of the things that I stitched was called Winter Monochromatic, and it was a pattern that I had found in a store in Branson, Missouri. And um, Diane let us buy it directly from her, and it comes with a skein of silk floss. Never used silk floss, and I used it, and I was like, fell in love with it. So I thought, why don't I buy all the colors? Because I might need to buy them. And look at how gorgeous they are. There are 125 colors total, and we have all but 20. So we'll have 20 in the next couple of weeks. So I'll tell you a little bit about them. First of all, silk is amazing to stitch with. If you're on a budget with, with um, cross-stitching, this is not what you wanna do. Um, but I loved it in the winter monochromatic because it just used one skein. So it wasn't afford it wasn't unaffordable because I only had one skein. It came with the pattern. But I'm gonna show you a little bit about it. So I'm gonna show you one that this is called Aqua Velvet. And it has a lot of variegation, so that's why I picked this one. So you can see a lot of variegation. Now can you zoom down? Sorry, so I can do it in my lap and not fall everywhere. So you can see that it has a lot of variegation. It has five yards. It's extremely soft. When you open it, it's the same as Classic Color Works in the terms of you've got five strands here. So very similar to Classic Color Works. This is the same company that makes Classic Color Works floss. So, you know, when you open it, you have five strands. But, so I'm just gonna kind of show you. But within it, instead of this having six strand, it has 12. So you get a lot more floss because there are 12 strands instead of six. So you're basically getting double what you would get in Classic Color Works. And one of the questions that we got on social media is, do you use the same number of strands or different? And when I did my winter, I just used two strands. It is slightly thinner, because it is silk, slightly thinner than DMC or Classic Color Works but it is lovely and when I used it, I only used two strands and the biggest difference that I saw is it did not. So, um, it's beautiful. So this is all brand new and you know, we might carry other brands of silk in the future and I'll show you how we got it so pretty in the bowl is we just twisted it Ta-da! So if you want mm -hmm. yours to be just as pretty in the bowl at your house, that's what you can do. I'm gonna leave mine just like this in my house, decorated up high where my children's fingers cannot touch. <laughs> so that is, um, but let me know what you have questions on with the Belle Suave because we did get a lot of questions on social media. I'm hoping that I did just answer most of them, but I'm happy to answer anything else. Now let's be honest, I'm not an expert on silk. I just really enjoyed using it. Um, I really did, I don't know, I just really liked it. And so I would use this, um, you know, if you wanna try it out, I would use it on something that just uses a couple colors because if you, you don't wanna go in and buy all of this and then if you get it and you don't like it, you just wasted your money. So maybe find a pattern that has two or three colors and try it. Or maybe find a pattern that's just monochromatic 
and try it. Just get one or two skeins, see if you like it. If you like it, great. If you don't, great. Just, um, but I just really liked it. And so I thought, well, I know I'm gonna wanna use this. I know I'm gonna wanna use it in Mania. So I better go ahead and buy it all so that I have it. So when it's time to pick everything, I'm ready to go. All right. So first question here uh, from Noah. She says, do the silks come in all the same colors as the cotton floss? No. They are different colors and different names completely. So that was one thing that I thought about is, you know, if you were searching for Holly Jolly or Jolly Holly, would it be in here? No, it might be in here, but it was a different name. And there's fewer colors. So with Classic Color Works, I believe there's over 200. With this one, I believe there's 125. So it's about half the number of colors, but it's a beautiful range of, I can take a little, Yes, the pop-up will be good image. We'll show you the full range. Mm -hmm. So that is all the color. So you can see that it's got neutrals, blacks, you know, it's got um, very classic patriotic colors and spring colors. All the variety is there. And um, my only concern about this is that I might go broke because I love it way too much. <laughs> um, so this might be my go-to floss. Um, but I will be very conscious about not, you know, I'm not going to pick a project that has this many colors because that would cost a fortune. Um, but I would do something and I'm going to do all of my, um, for example, my next parade of homes for next month is going to be spring monochromatic. It came with a very dark green. Um, if you know me, you'd know that like dark green or green is just not a color that I like. So I picked a really cool, um, it's not in here because I took it out, a really cool aqua that matches my house and that's what I'm gonna stitch that on. But then I can put that green, I'll just put that green in my stash for something else. All right, uh, Anne-Marie Makowski says, will there be a Floss Fix Silk Club? No, and the reason why is it's much harder for her to dye the silk you know, there's not as much of a demand for silk. So when we order it, it will take a little bit longer to get. It's much more expensive. Um, so at this time, no. Um, but I love it. All right. Uh, Rafael Guy says, can you show your piece that you did in silk? It is downstairs. So we will run and get it. Sorry. We will run and get it. Yes. And we will show it again. And my spring will be something I start. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start that in about three weeks. Uh, Rita Campbell says, could you mix it with the normal classic color works? Yeah, I think so. Because people mix DMC with classic color works all the time. So I think you could. And Pat Bro says, oh, sorry. Oh, so one of the things that I will say is um, when I show you my winter monochromatic, I kept the two, I, so I used two strands. I kept the strands together as they came off of the skein so that I would get the monochromatic look. So you're gonna see in my house that it's got a very, um, you see all of the variegation. I did one stitch at a time. Now, when I do most of my pieces, I will do the loop method. And so you don't see the variegation because that's what I prefer. But on the, since it only used one color, I wanted to see the variegation. Um, and that's just a different thing. Now that's like a big no-no in the cross stitch world. I know that nobody does that. That's like a big, you're not supposed to do that, but that's what I like to do. Thank you so much. So this is my parade of homes and this is vanilla pudding. 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 And that's what came with the, so if you can zoom in really tight, I'll show you some variegation. So you can see all that variegation, how it goes to like cream to, so that's the variegation you're going to get with a classic color works or a bell soie. And so I kept my strands together and did one, one X at a time. But you know, when I did my bunny and other things, I will do the loop method if I don't want to see that variegation. And this is wheat 28 count. And on these, there's four of them. And so I am going to frame all of them in the same frame. Well, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna switch out the frames because I will mess that up. But I'm gonna wait until I have all four done, take them to the framer and find either a different color frame, but the same one, or anyway, I'm gonna 
basically weight and frame all of them at the same time because I'm gonna wanna put them in the same section in my house or something like that. So super exciting. So that is how vanilla pudding looks and that is in here somewhere. All right, and then a few people were asking if they are color fast. Don't say. They don't say, I don't think so. Classic Color Works is not, so I don't think so. And that means you're not supposed to wash it before or after. All right, Papro said, what count and type of Ada or fabric is the best with this look gloss? I think anything. Mm. Um, I did, with mine, bless you, I wanted you. to find something, I felt like the design for this design for the houses was more of a primitive look and so Lori's new vintage cloth had not arrived yet, the 25 count, because that was what I was going to use, and it hadn't arrived yet, so that's why I used the wheat 28 count and why I'm going to use that for the remaining pieces, but if that hadn't come in, I would have used a prim, the 25 count, and oh yeah, we can show it next to each other. This is what I wanted Ooh. to use. See, that's what I wanted to use, this one. It just hadn't come in stock yet, so they look very similar. And the 25 count is much easier for me to use. It's a Lugana. It's just, and this is also a Lugana. It's just 28 count. And the 28 count is, um, you know, it's harder for me to see. So, but I kind of, for the, for the fabric and the floss, I kind of take the, um, maybe the aesthetics of the pattern to kind of, you know, what kind of look am I going for to pick, basically go from there to pick my floss and my fabric? What, what kind of, and, and also am I trying to change the aesthetic in any way? All right, Stitchy Widget said, are all three bags, uh, do they come together? They the come gingham? together in a set. So they come and it's got a little hanger and it's got a really nice plastic bag. So the only way you can get it is in a set. And you're gonna want them so cute. Oh, and they're great for beach. Like if you go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I can't, oh my gosh. My kids are going to love these. Even if they're pink, my kids don't care. They will be like, let me have those. They will fight over them. All right. And then a uh, nice comment from Pat Deerth. She said, Kimberly, loved your video on finishing. I enjoy all your videos. And may I say your shop is just the best for quick delivery and customer service. Thank you. Thank we you try our best. When we hire people, that's the number one thing. Customer service is number one. And that's the biggest, like if there was like a motto or a company mission statement, that is what it is, customer service. Because without customers, I don't have a job. Lily doesn't have a job. Denise doesn't have a job. Nobody has a job mm -hmm. until we have customers and we want you to come back and we want you to shop here and we want to have the products you want and get them fast. I mean, I'm a customer. I want the same service. The owner should not get better service than a customer. Mm -hmm. We should all get the same service. So um, we also have another new item. It is the Crunch PDF and that goes along with the Hello Spring PDF. And so we're gonna pop that up and there it goes. And so you can see this one is the Peter Bunny. This one is the milk chocolate and there's one more. And so if you stitch all three, you will have a set. So the, I'm not sure when the next one is coming out. It's a PDF pattern. It's five, each of them are $5. You can find it at Fat Quarter Shop. You can also find it on um, the Etsy store for uh, stitching with the housewives, but anything you have on finishing on any of these, she's got tips on her blog. Everything will be listed there. And then we also have some shout outs of just different things that people have stitched. And so we're just gonna go through those and maybe they can give you some inspiration for like um, colors or floss or aesthetics or any of that thing. So this is Quilty Love and this is the academic stitcher and so, she has, um, she had this, we showed it last week, super cute, but then she finished it and I love her decorations. So that is the academic stitcher. And then we have got Crystal Higgins and I love that whole white thing. And then the little, um, her little bear matches. And then Michelle Autry, she put hers 
on a heart and then i think that's her wedding date so that's pretty cool Ooh. and her husband did the um the woodwork and then laurel kendrick she put hers in a frame and i love that it's very um seaside would look great in a beach house and deborah sitaro she did a whole different color, kind of color combination i think she did some satin stitches in between super cute and then Leslie Brucey, she has hers all done. And then you can see that her rickrack is coming off the edge and that is perfect. So when you frame it, that will all get encased in the framing. So that looks awesome. And then Cindy Wilson, she has hers finished and I have that same exact easel at my house. So I bet we got that at the same store, Hobby Lobby. Laura Rogers Whitfield, um, super cute. So she um, she is showing how um, you can make a little quilted pillow that is very similar with nine patches and hearts. So super cute. Those kind of all go together. And then Janice Piot Elders, so um, super cute, and she did hers on a pink a pink fabric. Super cute. And Elizabeth Fisher, ninety seven. 54 she has hers finished and it looks like she has hers with a glass on the front and then we've also got parade of homes which is our at the end of the month we at a fat quarter shop have been stitching on all of our parade of homes and so we will um, be showing that at the end of is it next week yeah next week so um parade of homes next week but i just wanted to show you what all of our stitchers are doing so this is priscilla blaine this is her snow village and that is little piper ronnie is going to get mad priscilla you've got to show ronnie because piper piper is taking the show piper's adorable i know so ronnie. i am yeah he's adorable but he bites okay <laughs> and then um we've got share the stitching and this is cinnamon stars and um, Chelsea has also been working on this. It's really pretty. It's Plum Street Samplers Pattern. And then we've got Sammy Lee Stitcher. And so she is working on Glitter Village. And again, on FQS Parade of Homes, you can stitch any house. And Stitchy Mama, she has got the February Cottage of the Month. Super cute. And we have got Rachel Eaton. And um, this is Waxing Moon Designs, it's cute. And also the Prim Village is gonna be perfect for our Parade of Homes, and that's gonna be part of my Parade of Homes, which is totally awesome. And Kula ZZV, she has got Quilty, Quilter's Cottage, which is one of Lori, I think it's Lori's second or third uh, cross-stitch design, super cute. And this is Carolina June Creates. And so I think she's gonna put some Krylon glitter down before she stitches. Super cute. And Kathy Cohn, this is Santa's Village. Country Cottage Needlework, super cute. And Terry Lee Crafts. And so um, that is a great way to use up all of your fabric where you stitch it all in one piece and you don't have as much loss in terms of the fabric and those are the um, cottages of the month from country cottage needleworks and then this is snow village she's all the way caught up um mv cattle 8920 cute and rachel eaton she is starting the i think um it's snow village i can't remember what that one's called and then we have got rose city stitcher and this is main street so that is a series by country cottage needleworks that you can either stitch those individually or as a group and then we have also got more shout outs just from like um, non-homes but just cute stuff that we saw on our instagram and facebook and all that so this is hello spring this is the one that i just showed you by priscilla and chelsea from the real housewives of cross stitch the pdf is on our site for five dollars super cute way to finish it and i really like how she put the bow on the bottom because a lot of people put the bow on the top and it looks like a fabric cover button and then this is called lucky super cute that is a cherry hill stitchery pattern oh and then oh go back sorry 
So that is Starry Night Studio. So I just wanted to say she has a Facebook and a, a Terry has sent some things to her to finish. And when they came back, they looked really nice. So um, I have been following her. And if Priscilla um, ever kicks me out, I'll have to send something to her. But I'm hoping Priscilla doesn't break up with me. So <laughs> so, so I don't ever have to send anything because I don't know how to finish anything. But if y'all want somebody, you know, a lot of people ask Priscilla if she can finish things for you. And she can't because she's doing my stuff and Chelsea's stuff. <laughs> Because we've taken up all her stuff. But anyway, she does a really, really nice job. So I just thought it'd be nice to give her like a little shout out. I don't know her. I'm not affiliated with her in any way. Um, never met her, but um, she does a great job. And then Leona B54, she took our free candy heart pattern that we gave out last week. Um, super cute. You can still download that on our site. It's a completely free pattern that we put together for you. Our DMC packs will be back in stock soon. It's just one of the colors we're out of. And we have something planned super cute for March that um, I think you guys are going to really love. And then this is Crunch. So this is the second, this is the second um, in the series and she's already got hers finished. Oh, actually the DMC packs are back in stock. Candy Heart DMC is back in stock. I had no idea. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> so um, if you were asking for that, okay, so this is Crunch. I'll, this is Priscilla and Chelsea's design, second in the series of three. And this is Lucky Riley 5. Oh my gosh, I love that. So that looks very Ray Dunn. So the whole thing that they're doing with this series, if you haven't figured it out, is okay, they're, they love Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn is an artist that does these handmade uh, mugs and all kinds of things now. If you go to Hobby, or not Hobby Lobby, if you go to Home Goods, that's where they find all of this. And this looks very Ray Dunn. It looks totally, um, so, the, so the mug is supposed to be Ray Dunn and then the font is very Ray Dunn, but this looks, I love what she did. And if you want to know how to writ dye your fabric, they put out a video uh, this week on how to writ dye. And if you are gonna attempt that, I am so excited for you, but I would be way too scared. I watched that video and cringed the whole time because I was like, oh my God, I would ruin everything in my kitchen. Um, this is the Stitchy Widget, super cute, Hello Spring. And this is Kringle and Woolard, um, and this is also Plum Street Stitchers, and this is Maddie and me too. And Lizzie Jo Creates. Uh, this is part of the Square Dance series, and it's a heart and hand series where each pattern has three different designs, so there's four total. And Carolina June Creates. Oh, she's got the Lori Holt stitch cards, super cute. We've got some new stitch cards coming up too. And then Fiona's Craft Cottage. This is Snowy by Priscilla and Chelsea with Hands on Design. And Salt Lake Stitcher. I love it. Oh my gosh, I love that people are making hearts. Mm -hmm. And then this is Hip Hop. Super cute. So she finished hers more like a, like a floral display you would put in your house. And then another Hip Hop by Fiona's Craft Cottage. And then this is my favorite from the whole week. So I found this. So I love that pillow, Michelle. So this is Michelle Hellman. So what she did is uh, she turned the cross stitch into like a quilted pillow. So she combined all of the things. And she also finished uh, the Quilty Love and she's doing Bloomtopia. So um, I love it, but I just really, that pillow just really stood out to me because it was like a combination of all the arts. So loved it. And she did that pretty fast. Yay! Um, so I would love for you to follow us, like us, subscribe. We're on Instagram at FQSXStitch, Facebook at FQSXStitch, Kimberly Stitch Squad is my group on Facebook, and YouTube is Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Yeah. Uh, okay. From Kimberly Roberts, she says, so if you are stitching with variegated floss, do you complete one stitch at a time or go down the entire row, then come back? Okay. So I'm going to... I'm going to go slow here and I'm going to talk about what you're supposed to do and what I did on this one down here. Can I have that one? And then I'm going to talk about what I normally do. So if you're going to stitch with variegated floss, meaning hand dyed floss, that could be classic color works. It could be Belle Soir, It could be Weeks Dye Works. Anything that is hand dyed and has a variegated look. The traditional method is to keep your floss together just like it comes off the skein so that your darker sections stay together and your lighter start, lighter sections stay together. What you're supposed to do and what I did here is you keep those two strains together 
strands together and you stitch one X at a time and you get this variegation. And you can even see that variegation from far away. You can really see the variegation. Now that is the way you're supposed to do it and that's the way I do it sometimes. So that's the way I did it here. On this one, I don't really want a lot of variegation. It's just a personal preference. I um, think it's got enough color. But I do like the Classic Color Works colors. I think they're beautiful. So I wanted to use Classic Color Works. It came in my kit, it came in the club, so I wanted to keep it this way. This is the way I normally do all of my Classic Color Works or variegated. I do the loop method, which means my threads do not line up. There's, so then within each stitch, you might have a light and a dark, and I go in a row. That gives you more of a gentle effect and you don't see the variegation as much. But that is my way, and um, it's because I just don't, I don't like the variegation. It's very primitive, it's very, um, it's very artsy. I don't know, like I don't, and I also like, I don't, I would rather do the loop method to go faster doing one x at a time is very slow for me when i'm doing these things i really need to get them done but i honestly just like the look of this better because it's got lots of colors going on so i love that with the variegated floss you can do either either way um and i might get some hate mail because this is how i do this um but it's just like it's not what you're supposed to do but it is what i do so it's just you can do whatever you can play with it and as you get used to it you can um you can make it your own you could even do like one floss where you want to see more variegation and then and maybe in another section you don't want to see the variegation and when you're working with chalk which is the gentle arts white that is used in all of priscilla's things there's no variegation in that so you can use the loop method on that and it would never matter i hope that i didn't confuse you too much um and then Did i I, I think it made sense. Okay. Yeah, let us know in the comments if you have okay, more questions sorry. about that. Um, and then one thing I wanted to mention about shout outs too is if you uh, like want to be in the pool of shout outs that we pick from, uh, the way to do that is to on Instagram and Facebook use our hashtags. Uh, we try to pop them up in the video to help you guys uh, get like the correct text for those. And then also if you're like part of our Facebook group, Kimberly Stitch Squad, we also look there uh, and pull from there. Uh, and yeah, and that's how you get kind of selected for that. Uh, and then last thing here, uh, the poll right now for the fabric. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> is at 56% overcast is winning. Oh my goodness. So we still have time to vote. We have until Friday. Uh, so please vote. Uh, get your opinion cast. And don't forget our gingham on the go bags. This is, I'm so excited about these. Mm -hmm. So guys, have a great week, and I will see you guys next Tuesday. Next Wednesday? Sorry? Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. All right. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.